Yo, what's up? It's your boy, you're not Justin here. As much as I don't like serious things, we're actually gonna be doing something that's pretty serious today in this video. And I'm gonna give you the rundown about scamming. And I want you to just keep this in mind right now that I'm not gonna pussyfoot about it. I'm not going to play the good guy card and I'm not gonna be fucking dishonest with you. I'm just gonna tell it to you exactly how it is. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, then you know that I'm real and that's all I'm ever gonna fucking be is real. And if you're somebody who's new here and you stumbled upon this video, by whatever means, maybe you recently got scammed, then, you know, that that's just me. I'm, I'm going to be real with you and take it with a grain of salt because I'm just going to give it to you exactly how I see it. And it honestly, it's exactly how it is. My initial idea for doing this video was a complete joke video where I just shit on people who have been scammed before because these are my real feelings. But that doesn't teach people a lesson. It really doesn't. And at this point, because of what I'm about to tell you about scamming, um, I want to teach people a lesson and people aren't going to learn the lesson if I'm completely being a dick about it. And I have no problem with being a dick. I could do it any day of the week. It doesn't bother me one bit. For the sake of you guys learning, just bear with me here when I say that I'm being as transparent as possible and I'm not going to pussyfoot like streamers do, like bigger YouTubers do. I'm gonna be completely honest with you and I'm gonna teach you about scamming. <laughs> It's just, you know, it's it's really ridiculous how naive people act with it. With that said, if you feel like I'm being belittling or I'm being a douche to people who have been scammed and you yourself have been scammed, just bear with me, take it with a grain of salt, and try to make it all the way to the end of the video. So this all started when I woke up today, and I got up at around like 5 p.m., because I went to bed at like, you know, 10 a.m., something like that. And when I woke up, I checked my emails. I do check every single email that I get, or at least try to because at this point my email just constantly has like 20,000 emails in it. Thanks internet fame. And that's when I saw an email that read, please give me my $60 unusual back. It took me a long time to get and I thought you wouldn't try to scam me. And then there was a link to this person's Steam. My initial thought was, is this person fucking stupid? They retarded or something? And I honestly just thought that it was some 11 year old kid who figured out how to send emails for the first time and this was the first email he decided to send. So I kind of just let go of it and I didn't really think about it for a while because I was still in bed because I checked my emails on my telephone. So I got up and I went about with my day and I might make a video on this actually, not to get too much off topic, but I got a puppy today. So I went and I dealt with that puppy. It's, it's very cute. Name's Jasper. After that I ate and then I thought to myself, okay, well, I guess I'll go play some video games. Maybe I'll record something. Take a few notes on some videos that I have planned. Check to see how the old, uh, the old bank account's doing. So I go on, I log onto my computer and I'm thinking, uh, I got that email from that kid. I guess I'll, I'll go check out his Steam profile. We'll, you know, we'll see what's up. Also, as well, I'd like to note that um, I did respond to the email. Like, when I read it, I said something along the lines of, like, I don't know if somebody scammed you who was using my name or whatever, but tell me what happened. And he, did, he just didn't reply. So that's another reason why I just assumed it was some kid who doesn't know anything about emails. Anyways, I'm on my computer. I'm like, okay... We'll see what's up with this guy. So I made sure that the link was a safe link to go to and that it wasn't some link that was going to like download like 30 terabytes of gay porn to my computer. And I go to this guy's profile and he seems like he's the real deal. He seems like he's legit. He has like 800 hours of Team Fortress played. But then again, most scam accounts do have that much hours of Team Fortress played. I go through his backpack. I see how legit his backpack looks. And his backpack looks like a trader's backpack. But the thing with that is, is that also a scammer's backpack looks a little bit similar to that because a scammer's backpack will be full of unusuals and scrap and stuff like that. Not the point though, I could tell this was a legitimate profile, or at least I believe currently that it's a legitimate profile. Fuck it, I'll flatter him, I'll add him to my friends list and we'll see just exactly what he has to say because he's online. So I added him to my friends list and he says to me that somebody with my name and profile picture said to him that they wanted to trade his unusuals so that way he could show it off and make a video about it apparently because I, I totally do that. I mean, I play Team Fortress like every single fucking day. And because I know that there's somebody out there who thinks that I'm being serious about this, I would never fucking do that. I hardly play Team Fortress anymore. Like honestly, being completely honest with you, a little bit disinterested in it right now. But from time to time, I'll get on. I'd say like maybe once every two weeks, I get on the video game. I asked this guy if he has a link to his profile. And sure enough, he does. Right here, you can see the old conversation that we had. And I decided I was going to do a little bit of snooping. And I wasn't going to leave it at that. So I went ahead to the old profile. And honestly, as soon as I got to this, like even right now, I feel like I was looking at like a child molester's manifesto. Is this really the fucking image that I give off to people? The, like, do I really seem like I would like any of the shit that, that, that's on this fucking profile? Seriously? This is AIDS. And not AIDS with an E. This is like AIDS. This is HIV. Like the person who's impersonating me right now, you could have done a much better job. Like obviously quality isn't a part of your line of work, but dude, come the fuck on, bruh. I have seen and touched a boob before and I'm offended. This isn't the profile of the motherfucking UNJ. This is the profile of a virgin. Apparently I played as you're not Justin, Tyler the Great, Tyler TFG, Tyler Godam, 
Tyler's Kingdom, and some really fucking lame names that I would never be ever. Moving onward, this person types like a fucking idiot. Granted, it might be a little bit arbitrary, but if you look at this, he literally takes the time out of his day to capitalize the first letter of every single word. I would never fucking do that. I would rather just not have any punctuation or caps at all because it's the internet and not a goddamn essay. Even if it was an essay, that wouldn't be fucking correct either. He also has my channel linked. Thanks for the shout out, I guess. Since I have had my YouTube channel and since I've had my Steam account, I have not once ever had my YouTube channel linked on there. Why in the blue hell would I do that? Honest opinion again, a little bit too tryhardy for your boy. Everything I've done with my YouTube channel was all me, it was all fairly done, it was all right down the middle, no self-promotion, walking billboard shit needed. I never ever asked for anything, and somebody out there is probably gonna be like, hey, what about Sid? What about the SLT? He asked me to be on his channel. I didn't ask him, and somebody recommended that I even send my first clip that I ever sent to him in the first place, and that's what got me into this position, because I never really wanted to ask for anything in the fucking first place. Speaking of my father, much as I love you, Dad, I can't say that the NISLT group is my favorite group. It's a fucking awesome group. I'm even a moderator in the goddamn thing. And if you're not a member of Sin's group, you should be a fucking member of it. It's great. There's a party that's constantly going on. But since I'm against the whole try-hard thing, I don't have a favorite group, but my actual, like, moral favorite group is my group, UNJ and the Posse. Link's always in the description. If you want to be sure, I'm the goddamn owner of the group, and I'm friends with three of the moderators, Ace Wolf, General Snarky, and my boy Volgage. They're all trusted friends, and that's a way of knowing if it's the real me or not. Right now on the screen, you can see the unusuals and all the shit. All of it's probably stolen because this guy is a scumbag, and this is probably his only source of income. It's funny because he clearly lives at his mother's house because he can't really put this on his tax forms, on the W-2 form that I know that he has. Although everything in this backpack is probably stolen, the one in particular that was stolen on the screen right now is the Cannonball Miami Nights Unusual. It's a very nice hat, all class, cool effect, and it's just a real shame that it was stolen from this poor gentleman Ham. Now I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna do the nice guy thing first, or the real guy thing first, so I'm gonna leave it up to Siri. Heads, I do the nice guy thing first. Siri, flip a coin. It tells this time. All right, I guess I'm gonna do the bad guy thing first. I'm gonna look like an asshole. Like I said, take this with a grain of salt. If you've been scammed, I'm not saying that you're an idiot, but if you've been scammed and you don't understand why you've been scammed, then you're a fucking idiot. And that's why I'm here to teach you. But you see, the thing is, is that you can't be polite and be transparent at the same time. So just please. Give me a chance. First things first, this plus rep bullshit is literally the stupidest fucking concept I've ever seen in my entire life, and it gives me AIDS. Every time somebody sends me a friend request, because I get a lot of them, or anytime I'm thinking about sending somebody else a friend request, a surefire way I know of telling that they're an idiot is by checking their profile's comments and seeing whether or not they allow plus rep comments on it. Plus rep is fucking retarded. You want to know why plus rep doesn't make any sense and just doesn't work? Because you're commenting on somebody else's profile. A comment that they can delete, a comment that they can leave themselves. Just doesn't make any sense. And if you are somebody who's been scammed by somebody and one of your factors in your mind was thinking, hmm, profile says plus rep. Hmm. That, that's a, sh that, you know, they're definitely good people. It's very seldom when on this planet you see somebody with plus rep on their profile anymore. That's not, that's actually not how it works. You're a fucking idiot, and plus rep, especially on the internet, is just, like, are you serious? Seeing plus rep on somebody's profile should be an immediate turnoff. All it indicates is that the person is a very shitty trader, they know nothing about trading, and that they themselves allow other people as well as them to trade under the pretense of fucking plus rep. For, for some reason, I don't understand why it's a part of Steam culture and trade culture, but it's just not how it fucking works. That's the literal equivalent to me saying, hey, you got you see this piece of paper? If you want to buy my car from me and you don't trust me, this is a piece of paper that says plus rep on it. Now, do you understand why that shouldn't make any sense to the person that I'm showing this piece of paper to? Where did this piece of paper come from? Who certified this piece of paper? What exactly does this piece of paper mean? Who is the person who agrees with this piece of paper? Apply all of that to plus rep. And on top of that, throw into the mix of being on the internet. A place where anybody can literally be anybody. You have a monitor between you and another person at all times, and you don't know who the hell you're talking to. For instance, I'm a billionaire. I also don't have legs. Now, how would you know if I were telling the truth or not? Let's just assume that this is the only video on this channel. I don't have a Tumblr. I don't have anything. You have no way of knowing who I am. How would you be able to know if I were a billionaire with no legs? You just fucking wouldn't. Apply that to plus rep and trading. Now that we've gotten plus rep out of the way and you all understand how fucking retarded that is, I'm gonna go on to the next really big point about all of this. All of your trading should be done in the fucking Steam window for trading. You shouldn't go to any external websites. You shouldn't click any links that are about trading. 
every single trade that you do should be directly through your Steam window. This is common knowledge to everybody else, but it comes as a surprise to me, and it just amazes me that people are this fucking stupid. But there are people who literally try. <laughs> they click on links that they don't know anything about. They'll just click on any old link that they're sent, and then they get upset when they get, like, malware, or their items get fucking directly taken out of their backpack. And then on top of that, the thing that makes it even worse, that, like, is just even shittier on the people who are getting scammed, they'll click on links, and it'll take them to a website that looks just like Steam, and it'll say that it wants them to sign in. And they will sign in, they'll put their password in and everything, they'll put their fucking telephone number in there even, and then... Boom, account is gone. If your trade is complex in any way, shape, or form and involves links, then it's obviously going to be a scam nine times out of fucking ten. A proper trade is done between two people, and yes, I'm going to get to this topic that you know I'm going to bring up. It's done between just two people inside of the Steam trading window with a dialogue going, and that's all there is to it. Any bullshit in between that, then it's not a good trade and it's not going well. The only thing that should be said at all is dialogue about what you're trading for and whether or not the trade is going to go through. There shouldn't be a matter of links or my next topic, middlemen. Fuck middlemen and the concept of middlemen. Pretty much what a middleman is, is a middleman would be used for things like a one-sided trade where you actually have an item that you want to trade for and you're willing to trade somebody a key for a video game. Or you've decided that websites are stupid like you should have and you for whatever reason think that a middleman is the way to go for when you want to trade somebody an item for actual money. So the concept of middleman works in a way where each trader will have a middleman and the middleman will hold on to the items to quote unquote, assure that there's no scam or ripoff. So let's say they're trading like a copy of Call of Duty 4, like a code for it, for some shitty knife on Counter-Strike Go. The person trading the knife will give their knife to their middleman, and then there's a bunch of like bullshit confirmation that the middleman and the traders actually do all together in a group chat. And the person who's actually trading an item gives it to their middleman, and then they confirm that the money's been sent through, then the middleman gives it to them, or some bullshit like that. It's overly complicated, like, Re like in in retrospective for trading it's overly complicated the concept itself is very simple but it doesn't work and people get scammed more often than not using middlemen and i would recommend against it it's a little bit lower on the list because there are some trusted middlemen out there that like can actually make this retarded concept work but for the most part it's still a shitty concept that shouldn't be a thing and if i do say so myself if you really want to trade an item for money your best bet is to just not do it because it's a risk like you know it's a huge risk you're risking getting absolutely nothing because the middleman concept relies on some random person on the internet who you don't know anything about and their reliability with your items and your money. And if you're even looking at trading from a perspective of, oh, I want to get money for this item, then obviously you don't make a lot of money and you should probably do something to make more of it and to fill that whole greed problem that you have going on because that's not the way that trading should be done. Trading is not for money. Trading is for items. Trading is not for games most of the time. It's not for game codes, I'll say that. It's for items and things that you could physically trade directly through Steam. And for this particular scenario, somebody thought that they were going to be trading with somebody who was quote-unquote famous. I really feel disgusting for even saying that. And they thought that it would be for something really cool. They thought they'd get like a shout-out or something like that. And I really do feel bad for this person. But there's a lot of obvious precautions that could have been taken in advance. For instance, he could have went to my YouTube channel and he could have looked at all of the links that are always in the description of my videos. And he could have went to my Steam group and clicked directly on my profile and, and got to see exactly who the real Tyler and the real me was. He could have left me a comment because I do try to read every single comment that I get right now. And he could have went to my Tumblr and he could have left me an ask or he could have even messaged me. And most of the time I respond to everything. And he could have been like, hey, are you this real person? And as much of a silly question as that is, 99% of the time, that's like the 1% that it's a legitimate question if I'm the real person or not. And since it happened, and since it's a really shitty thing that happened, I would just like to proclaim that, no, I will never ever make some shitty video showcasing some shitty unusuals because I really don't fucking care enough to do something like that. I also don't imagine that I would ask for any kind of item whatsoever. I mean, I'm offered to be given stuff a lot. I fucking, I decline like almost every single offer that I've gotten. I've accepted a few things. But yeah, if, if it even comes down to it and you think that this is a person that's a real me, just make sure that it is. Just go to my profile. But, you know, for the most part, if it's for some shitty excuse like, oh, I want to make a video based off of your items, you know, it's not going to happen. Like, go to my channel. You know what I like. And another really big thing with me too is that as somebody with this outlet that I have to really express myself with, I would never want to fucking ask for anything just so that way I could fucking, you know, make something that might be entertaining for you guys. Why would I want to spend my audience's hard-earned fucking money just so I can make something for them? 
that you know that just is kind of ridiculous especially in a sense of for a video every video is free and it just doesn't make any sense to me i really hope that you guys made it to the very end of this video because we're at the most exciting part. It's where I become a super nice guy. I'm gonna comment down below a link to that scumbag's profile, and I want everybody to go and report him so that way we can get this fucker banned, and you know, he's not gonna lose much. He's already traded away all the unusuals, but he has a backpack that's still worth quite a bit, so at least we can get that taken away from him. Do a little bit of justice for this poor man, Ham. And speaking of Ham, this video officially cost $127, but not your guys' money, but of my money. I also, I want to be remembered for the bad things that I did, not, not these good things like you're about to see here. As always, I'm Justin, your motherfucking not, and thanks for watching.